I've wanted to do a level three for years now. I saw this opportunity come up and thought, what a great place to be learning about cricket. I saw the names involved with teaching the course. I thought it would be a great thing for me to do to develop my career personally and then my coaching as well. I'm Chanaka and from Sri Lanka and working for Sri Lanka cricket as a district coach and now I'm engaged to coach education. Any cricketer, any coach, to come and do something with ICC and have a look around, it's a fantastic atmosphere and fantastic facilities. In Argentina, my title is head coach. Uh, I run everything from a six-year-old boy playing up to the national team men. So a huge range of abilities, levels. I want to improve uh, myself to, uh, as a high-performance culture, to coach even higher level. These facilities are incredible. Coming here and seeing this is amazing. This is really what we would call a global ICC course. We want to be able to really educate coaches how to be effective across the globe, around the world. Education is a really important part of our business. We were built not just to help players improve, but also to help coaches improve. The Level 3 course is designed for coaches that are working with representative sub-elite players, so working in the performance environment. So it seemed like a natural progression for us to be able to resource coaches who are working in that sort of environment. I've been a bowling coach for the last few years in the IPL with the Gujarat Lions. I've always wanted to evolve into a head coaching role. And as a coach, I always think you've got to keep learning, and that's why I'm here doing this ICCA Level 3. I think a lot of coaches don't practice being coaches. We don't really see ourselves from the other side. And so it's nice to get feedback and to see where we're going well and where we can develop and evolve and how we can get better as coaches. A lot of seeing what people have to say, seeing their ideas, seeing their views on things. A lot of practical coaching I really enjoy, watching other people's ideas. And then also a lot of the psychological side of things, the, how the brain works, how we can use that aspect of sports and sports coaching to improve our players. A lot of practical stuff and not just theory, all about you come out there and do some with your coaching pods and, and your colleagues, you share your experience. really like the idea of recording. You get to look at the, the questions you ask, how you go approach it, your body language, that sort of thing. The organisational aspect, you know, it's not one of my strong points, so very good ideas, but how to organise them and put them into a plan, not just uh, long-term plans, but short-term and specific, and obviously interacting with different people, all the different mindsets and the thoughts and ideas. Uh, I do a lot of coach development myself back in Argentina, trying to coach the local Argentines how to improve their coaching. And I've learned loads of things here that I can then bring back to those guys and try and impart my knowledge to them as well. When people leave the Level 3 course, I hope that firstly they've had a really, really, really enjoyable time in the environment. I hope they feel excited about what they're going to go away and do as a result of having been there so they feel inspired, they feel energised but it's also about them hopefully reflecting on where they are as a coach, where they want to go and applying the stuff that, that works for them. The facilities you have here and the resources and the expertise of all the people who've been taking the different uh, modules of the course have been outstanding. I think it's a great opportunity to listen to new people, to get new ideas, to come to a great place. Definitely recommend it. One of the best coaching courses I ever had then. I'd highly recommend this and the people that you know, we've met and we've built relationships with we'll be able to tap into for years to come.